We know through social media channels that you're really missing our in-flight and lounge food. So what I'm gonna do is a few recipes that are our classics, our signatures. And one of the great things about this particular dish that I'm gonna show you now, the Jiangxi fish, that started from Spice Temple 11 years ago, is that it's really easy to make. And if you don't have all the ingredients, that doesn't matter either. It always tastes awesome. So Jiangxi has a very strong flavor of sesame oil. And we're gonna add vegetable oil, or peanut oil if you wish, sesame, soy, and sugar to get that beautiful balance of salty and sweet and that incredible flavor of sesame, which as I said before, is a flavor of the Orient. We then have a, several things that we dress the fish with. Salted chilies, they're hard to buy, but really easy to make. Buy the Spice Temple cookbook, tells you how to make it, but essentially just chop up a half a kilo of chilies, 150 grams, 200 grams of salt, over the top, leave it to ferment overnight a little bit, and then pop it in the fridge, breaks down. You make this once, you'll never stop making it. It's the most incredible thing. Pickled chilies, really easy, just 50-50, vinegar, rice wine vinegar and sugar, pickle them for a few days. Again, awesome on, I, I, I put these on deli sandwiches, they're so yummy. Um, some mustard greens, they get them from Chinatown. You can actually ferment them yourself if you want, I've heard, and they're really tasty. And then some pickled radish, which again has just this wonderful crunch. For garnishing, we'll just do some beautiful green leaves, but you can do any, any kind of Chinese vegetable you like, or spinach, spring onion, goes on the end for all this beautiful lifted fresh flavor and sesame seeds, again, just texture and crunch. I'm serving it with rice and I'm steaming it today. And the really great thing is you just need a bowl that you'll fit in your steamer and you're gonna put your fish in, which today for me is blue eye. And this is a great way of steaming fish in stock or in coconut milk, or as we're doing now with Jiangxi sauce, because it keeps the fish super moist. It's a brilliant Chinese method, absolutely brilliant. So, this is really simple. Just a bowl, could use a whisk if you want. In with the vegetable oil or peanut oil, they're both fairly neutral, um, but they're gonna carry the flavors. In with the soy, salty, important again, getting that balance of flavors. Sugar, it looks like a lot, and it is quite a lot of sugar, but the sweetness in this dish is one of the things that's the most alluring about it. So we're just gonna give it a really good go here. In with the sesame, that'll give it a beautiful color and the most fantastic flavor. I mean, sesame oil is just, as I said before, and I'll say it a million times, it's the flavor of the Orient. Every time I smell it, I think of Hong Kong, and Thailand, and all those places that I love to go. So there we go, the sugars are starting to melt. And it is just as simple as dressing the fish really well. You could do uh, just four pieces of fish. And my girls love it just like this with the dressing um, without all the chilies. And they ask for that, um, you know, about once a week. On pickled chilies, salted chili. Salted chili's got a really nice hit to it. Radish. Mustard greens. And then, straight in the steamer. So it just fits in this one and it'll get up around. There's enough for the steam to get up around and cook the fish. As I said, because it's actually steaming and cooking in a broth, it just cooks so moist. You almost can't muck this one up. And that's gonna cook for about 10 minutes. Okay, so 10 minutes later, Oh, there we go. That's smelling fantastic. It really is. All those pickled vegetables and the sesame oil. I've got a beautiful um, little plate here. You could cook four pieces if you wanted, if you're having friends over. Or I would more think it's great as a shared meal, so a 500 gram piece of fish. Some galen that I've just blanched. It's looking beautiful on the bottom there. Get this guy off. Ah. Oh. That is smelling brilliantly. Just over. Blue eyes beautiful and flaky. It's just wanting to fall apart. 
That is really awesome. And then what we want to do is get this all mixed up straight over the top. Heaps of the sauce. It's just so delicious. And this in flight is one of our really popular dishes. The fish stays really gorgeous and moist because it's poached gently and then finished in the oven on board. And then we're going to put lots of spring onions over the top for freshness and lots of sesame seeds for crunch. And there you have it, Jiangxi fish. It is one of my favorite dishes and I promise you, if I say I'm cooking this for my girls at home, they go absolutely nuts.